up, Gemini? Jasmine here. I'm going to be doing your reading um, for whatever energies are going to be coming into the new year. What's coming in the main energy? I definitely get balance, healing, and patience. I feel like you guys are in a season of just recognizing that you can be still within your mind. Um, I feel like you guys are holding faith in something. Um, you guys are faithful that whatever hard work you've been putting in, whatever energy you've been putting in, whatever you've been pour pouring in, that it will pour back into you. What's influencing this star card? Um, I do feel like you guys are healing and hopeful that you will heal past a difficult time. Yes. I feel like you guys are healing and conjugating with those um, who will allow and help you the um, healing progress effortlessly, I feel like. Um, I also feel like being around people healing is a time to be around healing people and to uh, attach yourself or connect with healing energies. Like a sisterhood here is definitely what I'm feeling here. I do feel like you guys are having healing conversations with those who are close to you. People are helping you recognize the inner the and, and the ways that you are healing. So I feel like people are um, actually um, giving you compliments and, and reassuring you that you are doing the best, um, that you are doing what needs to be done here is what I'm feeling. What is in the energy of Gemini? Take it how it resonates. King of Cups. So um, you guys could be healing at, from a relationship here. You guys could also be healing from a third-party situation. The King of Cups, your, what's on your mind could be someone that you you love, okay? Um, you guys could be um, coming back with someone and healing with this person due to a third-party situation, perhaps. Um, it feels like you could be celebrating with your person. You guys are having conversations about what has been discovered. Um, I love you. I need you. Um, let's heal through this. It's kind of like the energy here. Why is this happening? You guys can also just be loving yourself. We, we can clarify. Yeah, I will. Have, um, you guys um, have another major arcana here. This is happening. It feels like in order for you to move forward, things need to be healed, right? Things need to be recognized. In order to you to move and segue through a new um, doorway, a new pathway, that there's healing that needs to happen. There's connections that need to be nurtured. Okay, are you are you watering the connections that you care about the most? I feel like you guys are healing a connection here. You could be healing the connection with yourself, healing the connection with God as well. Um, yeah, I do feel that. What is this King of Cups energy here, Piscean? Um, yeah, when I said Piscean energy, you guys could be healing with a Pisces, recognizing the love that you have for someone or yourself or recognizing why you want to heal um, something because of the love you have for someone, why you want to move forward. I want to move forward and heal this because of the love I have for you. Um, what is in the past? What is in the immediate past for Gemini? What is the... Um, Ace of Pentacles talking about for Gemini. Okay. In the past, I feel like someone gave you, um, showed up and showed you, or you could have showed someone, hey, I care about you. I feel like someone gave you tangible evidence and effort that they want to heal with you, connect with you, nurture you. Um, I definitely feel like someone has given you a gift to assure you that they're here, they care, they value you, um, they recognize you, they see you, and I, I want to express this. I know just saying I love you isn't enough, so I want to express it through the acts of gifts, right? The love language of giving gifts is what I'm seeing. You could be doing this to someone, someone could be doing this, uh, providing this for you. What is coming in the near future for Gemini's energy? Ooh, I love that. Queen of Cups. So we have the King and Queen of Cups here, healing, coming togetherness. There's a reconciliation. There's a healing. There's the understanding that's coming in here. I've thought about something. I recognize something. I want to show you that I appreciate you. I want to move forward with you. 
um, I'm hoping that we can segue into this new realm of our reality. Um, so I really love this. This is giving me healing vibes, okay? I feel like someone is definitely healing on a deep level. We have Aquarius energy heavy here, Sagittarius energy, definitely Scorpio Pisces, Cancerian energy heavy here with the water. Um, also water here. So definitely this heavy, heavy Pisces here. Heavy, heavy Pisces. Heavy Cancer here. So um, yeah, it doesn't have to be, but that's what's showing up. Doesn't have to be the person you're dealing with, but that's showing up. Um, here, how do you see yourself, um, Gemini? How do you see yourself? Um, that's very interesting. I see yourself wrapped up. Why? Why, um, why are the eight of? Okay. I, I, it's almost an energy that you you may be confused on why this healing is happening. Clarify the two of swords. Both of these people are blindfolded here. Okay. So now you have to ask yourself the question. This is the energy that says, I forgive you, but do I want to associate with you? I'm not sure. I, it's okay to say I'm good. We're healed. There's no issue. Let's move forward. I understand that. I don't want any bad blood. I don't have any bad, bad blood towards you. I've given you love. I provided you love, tangible love. Um, but I'm not sure if we're clear on really moving forward. It almost just says, um, I forgive you, but I, I don't have to fuck with you. I love you, but I, I don't fuck with you. Uh, I don't know if I want to continue on a path. We could heal, we could forgive, but we don't have to be in, uh, in solid connection. So this almost feels like a conversation that was had that just, just mature. This Honestly, when you think about this, this is a level of maturity of just saying, um, and also, it, for some of you, was talking about healing something, coming back together with a lover, but also wondering if you guys would, you know, if this will continue on. You know, are we going to have to go through this again to do this ultimate healing to go back to where we started? I don't know. The will can return in reverse. Um, how many times do we have to heal the situation? How many times do we have to come back together to recognize something that was already recognized a two of, two of swords eight of cups and the nine of wands is how you view yourself in a situation i will say that you're unsure about what this healing is going to bring actually bring forth so uh what is the surprise energy moon card fears unknown confusion uncertainty am i healing this to get back together to be back in a connection am i healing this are things going to be given right is this unrequited love i'm not sure why i'm healing this um i got some of you could be healing a relationship with your mother and father as well what is in the emotions of Gemini? If I said Capricorn, I'm sorry. What is in the emotions of Gemini? I just, just did Capricorn reading. Justice. I want truth. I, I'm afraid that this, this healing isn't true. That this isn't real. Yeah, we, we healed this. And I'm deciding to not to be mature. But I'm, I'm unsure about what it really holds is what I'm feeling. Justice card represents Libra here. We have Cancerian, Piscean energy again. Scorpio, water energy is very heavy here. Clarify the Justice card. Mm. In your emotions is that I know it's real and I know it's not. And I really need you to be honest about it. Do you know what's real? Do you know what's not? And your emotions is the realness, the actuality of the healing process. We could heal this. What is the next step? Are you going to be truthful about what we're healing here? We're healing this 
but is it worth a continuous connection moving forward? So I just feel like in your emotions, you, you, you've recognized some things, what's right for you, what's wrong with you. You gain that wisdom here. You have the information. Just this is a lot of information that's given with the Hermit card. It's higher knowledge for sure. So in your emotions, you, 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 you're aware of what it is and what it ain't. So you have to really apply that knowledge and take intelligent action. What is the outcome for Gemini? The, I feel like you are deciding to stay connected and try. I mean, the lover's cards, you've made a choice here, all right, to obtain something. I'm deciding to start again. We're at one. So I do feel like whatever you're healing, you're going to decide to move forward with it. I, I see a connection between two people here with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups here. Um, I, I do believe that you're going to stay in connection and um, you just have to, with this Empress card and the Devil, um, just ask yourself, are you staying connected for the right things? Uh, healing something doesn't mean that we have to continue on with the connection. You have the lovers and the devil card here, which is representing the shadow side of things. It feels good, but is this feeling real? Will it stick? It's really the question. And I feel like you know the answer to that with the... Um, with the high priestess card, another Piscean energy, you know the answer to that. It feels good right now. Will it stick? Will it last a week? Will it last two weeks? Will it last a year? Can we stay in this healing? Can we really progress forward? Is what it's talking about. What does um, Gemini need to surrender? Surrender to miracles. Yeah, the actualization of the manifestations that you want to receive that idea of receiving it says be open to miracles occurring in your life right don't block them out with the devil card healing is the thing um feel and know that the events are real let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles may, can happen so when you come into a healing environment or um an energy of forgiveness you have to really stand in that and kind of release whatever you may be holding on to that won't allow this healing to move forward or this is what the other person needs to do you forgive somebody you forgive them you don't harp on the past unless the past is still presenting itself in the present then you have to ask yourself a whole nother question yeah this is talking about miracles and magics manifestation right what are you open to bringing into your world with the magician card i feel like you guys are trying to manifest something um and you have to be real about what grounds are you trying to manifest this on what foundation are you trying to manifest this on you know like is it really gonna yeah manifest again i see magic in here manifest in miracles m m m so that might be something um, the letter M might be significant to you, MMM. I don't know why that's showing up. Miracles, magic. I see magic when I picked up that deck and it manifests as I was, I was talking about it came, comes out. Uh, I really like that energy for you. Gemini, what advice do we have for Gemini coming into the new year? Yeah, I feel like this is talking about a connection. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal energy. Yeah, I feel like you guys are trying to obtain something new, something that is, um, I feel like it's tangible, a, a real uh, thing. Prosperity lies ahead. So you guys are hopeful that whatever you go after, you're going to obtain here. Pinnacles, this is something that's obviously valuable to you when you think about Taurus energy, Pinnacles, the Hermit. Um, this is something that's tangible around you that you have to take action on. I want to implement this new product to obtain real results, this new idea. I'm not just going to have an idea. I'm going to bring it forth with something tangible. I want to 
anchor it down so I know it's real and the people around me know it's real. Con conclusions are in reach so you will get the answers that you need for sure. Uh, you feel like I feel like you've gotten the answers that you need or you will. This is a level of information that's going to be brought to you so you can know how to continuously move forward um, towards um, your future. Yeah. So that is your reading, Gemini. Uh, if it resonates, if it's your story, you will know. It will like effortlessly resonate with you. You don't have to like force it. Not every bit and piece is for um, every every take out the pieces that are meant for you that really resonate some of you this could be all around just in your energy some of you just bits and pieces may resonate and that's fine too but don't force any energy to fit what's going on in your reality also book a private reading if you're like i i need to dig deeper on this you know you need more more um clarity insight enlightenment so that is your reading gemini i hope that it resonated peace